will build new roads and highways and bridges and airports and tunnels and railways all across our wonderful nation. We will get our people off of welfare and back to work, rebuilding our country with American hands and American legs. Every year, I just have to go. There's something about being in Finnmark around midsummer that always gives me this slightly surreal feeling of standing on the edge of the world, looking at everything from a distance. The subarctic summer is short. The first warm days of the season typically brings a frenzy of insect hatches and feasting fish. Summer came late this year, and around midsummer all the rivers were still in huge flood, and the hatches hadn't really started yet. You just have to wait a little bit. Come to that air. Woohoo! Ah. It's like a... Yeah, it's like a 750 or something. It's on the black clean camera, you know? After I started fishing with Rolf. You know, Rolf is really into the black clean camera. And if you've seen the film, Rolf's beautiful masterpiece, The Color of Coral. There's a lot of me there, and he's portraying me as a... Yeah, it's kind of a dick. But what do you think you like long clean camera? A little. Do you think that it's... Do you think that it's... Do you think that it's for much an... A normal Swedish flug? It's for simple. Not like a dick, but like a... A little bit stuck up guy. Maybe I am. Som du tycker jag är en för enkel människa. Ja. Jag känner, jag känner här att jag blir, jag blir nervös också hur jag ska koka kaffe. Jag vet att du kommer komma snart med någon så här liten sked. Från, du, som du, har köpt på, du har köpt på en turné i Japan. Jag ska, du, ha, man ska du, dra du, nej, det där, nu, nu i scenen sätter du mig som en enorm tönt. Så illa är jag inte. Rolf. He, has this, he wants to be like working class hero. And that's why he uses the clink hammer all the time. Because it's sort of like a simple fly for the simple man. You know, some bullshit like that. But uh, anyway, I started using it. And now I've started using it a lot because it's so <laughs> extremely effective. See, it's a quite good one. Yeah. So, yeah, 800, 750, 800. Nice fish. Here you go, buddy. Oh, it's been a very, very, very long day. Oh, first the session at the <laughs> where I, you know, lost the fish and everything. The goddamn hook snapped. I thought it was strange because I hooked it quite well. Shit hook. I got a glimpse of it. It was like one and a half kilos. 
then the, the trip with Spain, which was just like so much fun. It was just like fantastic. Yeah. Stuve. Yeah. What did you En slagstru. Ja. Det er litt litt insekt da. Mye med mygg. Ikke mye med mygg, men det er litt mygg. Litt mygg. Og litt vårflø. Ja. Åtte vårflø. Jeg ja, var med åtte. Jeg kler en åtte. Jeg kommer etter seks. Du kom etter seks. Jeg er så optimistisk. Ja, ja. Uff. Ta et nytt kast da. Prøv et nytt kast da. Nei, sånn ja. Det er en skikkelig ertekrok. Nei. Hold det her. Den er jo ikke liten. Da kast. Oh. <laughs> it was hard going on the trip. It's still early up here, you know, and it's it's a very late season, but I did manage to catch one fish. I didn't get it on camera though, but I got the still photo it. You see? It's a pretty good fish. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Well, this has been a really short day. I just got up at 8 in the evening got myself a tasty hamburger breakfast at the gas station tidied up some gear and basically came here that's about it I think I'll be heading home tomorrow because there's a huge low pressure coming in so it's not going to be fishable for like two or three days up here and I, yeah I don't want to wait it out but I'd really like to catch that one I don't know why, what happened. Uh, at least I <coughs> made it take the fly. That's some kind of consolation. What the f***? Yeah, I'll stick around for a little while and see if something starts happening. The wind has died down completely and the sun is coming up, so you never know. Well, that's fly fishing for you. Sometimes it's hard to catch anything at all. And sometimes you hit the right spot at the right time. Yeah. Slight beer buzz. Huge hatch. Good times. Petsy's here too. It's great. It's good to have Petsy on board. Nice hatch. Man. What an evening. It's almost too good to be true. Finnmark can be a pretty grim place sometimes. But at its best, it's just pure magic. During our brief stay in Finnmark, the rivers just exploded with life. We felt like kids left alone in a candy store with no grown-ups in sight. We were both pretty satisfied already when one of the river's bigger fish suddenly decided to materialize.
Och det ser fint lider den små hooks hook. Det så. There's a limit to how much I can really push this. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> It's like 2.5 or something. Well, that's more or less what I had for you this time. You see, the last day in Finnmark was just cold and shitty weather, three casts with a streamer and catching a very small fish, and then some guy with a rubber boat showed up and ruined everything. Nobody wants to see that. Anyways, I hope you liked my little film, and catch you later.